Remember, our words affect our worlds. Proverbs 13 and verse 3. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Proverbs 21 and verse 23. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Our words, our lips, our tongue, our mouth, the words we speak. All of us at various times in life, uh, we regret some of the words that we, have may, we may have spoken. Uh, we look back and we say, I wish I'd never said those words, or I wish I never made those statements or those remarks. And so all of us understand the importance of our words and the significance of our words, that our words affect our world. And when I say our world, it affects all that happens in things that concern us, it's primarily relationships, because words are a primary means of communication. And so our words affect our relationships. Our words also affect a lot of other things, a lot of things that we transact in terms of business, in terms of uh, decisions and interactions with people, uh, outcomes of uh, uh, interactions are determined so, much, so often by the words that have been spoken. And so this week, we want to journey through the book of Proverbs and learn some important lessons on the tongue of the wise how we can use our words in a way that will bless our lives and the lives of people. And how can we, you know, gain mastery over our tongue and over our words. And as we begin this study, I want us to take the first instruction that we can present, the first instruction that we will present from the book of Proverbs is this what we read here today in Proverbs 13 verse 3 where Solomon tells us to guard our mouth. That if we guard our mouth, we can preserve our life. Or if we guard our mouth and our tongue, we can keep ourselves from a lot of trouble. So, a very important thing. That is, I'm going to put a watchman over my mouth. I'm going to guard my mouth. I'm going to watch over the words that come out of my mouth knowing that if I guard my mouth, I can preserve my life. And if I guard my mouth, I can keep my life out of a lot of trouble. But if I just open up, my, open my mouth and speak words meaninglessly, foolishly, without thought, it could have detrimental impact on my life and possibly on the lives of those around us. So, guard your lips. Set a watch on your lips. And one of the simplest way for us to do this is to pray and ask God to help us. The psalmist prayed in Psalm 141 and verse 3, he said, Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. So he's really asking God's help in this whole thing. O oh God, I have a loose tongue. O oh God, I may say things that are not right and that I regret later. So his prayer is very simple. God set a guard on my mouth and watch over the door of my lips. God help me to use my words carefully. God help me to guard my mouth. A simple prayer, but very important. Let's do the same. Father, we just pray and ask that by your Holy Spirit, you will set a guard over our mouth, over our lips, so that we will know how to use words rightly. And Father, we pray for those of us who seem to be getting into a lot of trouble because of words we speak, who end up getting into a lot of destructive things because of loose words. I pray you will change that for us. Set a guard over our lips, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.